Fest is always about being better and about bringing your A game. She's a master teacher. Um, she's very skilled at her craft and her content. And it makes me want to be a better administrator for her um, because she, she knows what she's doing and, and it's all because she wants her students to achieve their best. She has very meaningful relationships with her students. You can tell how much they love her and how much they respond to her. She makes sure that she relates to them on a personal level. And she makes sure that even the literacy and the content is meaningful to the students. Uh, that's quite evident. So goal setting with them is very easy for her. I love having her around the classroom, walking and talking. Every time I hear that, it, it makes me feel like I belong there. I'm happy that I have her this year. I hope I can see her every day. It's really heartwarming for me. She's a person that is positive with everything that she does. She pushes us into that max level that we understand something, and she's amazing. <laughs> I have two rules in classroom, in my classroom, and they are work hard and be kind. And so I teach my students and I make sure I remind them all the time that if they work hard in life, that if they try their best, they're going to be successful. They love my classroom and so they love it because they feel like they're at home, they feel safe, they feel loved. And so that makes them want to come to school. And so um, when I see those results, I know that I'm doing something right. I see them every day and I think to my, I think about everything going on at home. And we think sometimes as teachers that our students have this perfect life, but they don't. And so once I'm able to form those relationships, my students open up to me. And when I see how much some of these students have been through, what they have to go through to get to school, they inspire me. You know, I think of everything they go through to get to school, so I make sure that I am the best possible teacher that I can be, because they deserve the best. Ms. Bayan is an absolutely amazing person and educator. She really cares about her scholars and what they're going through as a scholar and as a person. Uh, she connects very well to them. Her, her bubbliness, her willingness to be dorky and silly and just put herself out there just so that the kids can feel comfortable, you know, to be a good role model at showing them that it's okay to be yourself. So just the connection she makes with her scholars is, is unmatched. She is just inspiring. Like she, she can make an idea from like another student and then make it times 10 and just make it to where everybody just has fun. It, 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 there's not enough words to describe how she is. It's just, there's too many words, there's too many words. She has caused me to come out of my comfort zone a lot of the time and a little bit out of my shell. During quarantine, I got a lot more shy and when I'm around her, it does help me come out of that shell a little bit and she helps me kind of gain that confidence back. I truly love to believe that Miss Bayan is a God sent angel in the form of a theater teacher. I honestly don't know how to describe her. She truly is an amazing person. I like to imagine her as like Poppy from Trolls. She just has this amazing energy and it always manages to put a smile on my face. I try very hard to provide a positive learning environment. It's something that you have to work on daily, hourly, and one little thing can really change the whole dynamic. So it's really getting to know your students, getting to know how they're feeling, when, learning when to back off, when to keep asking questions. And I think theater is very important because it's almost like a life skills class. You learn to listen, you learn to adjust, you learn to modify, you learn how to problem solve, you learn how to control your emotions. And I think theater arts really helps us out with that, even speaking for yourself, speaking, uh, letting people know your boundaries. Theater just has everything rolled into one and it just will help you find what you do. It'll help you find what you're good at. Mrs. Soria is just such an energetic, full of character individual. Always been very caring for our community here at the campus. And as soon as you meet her, she gives you a sense of welcome. 
to the community, to the campus, and she's just a wonderful person to be around all the time. She has definitely inspired me to become a better teacher since Mrs. Soria was one of my students at one time, and she has definitely stepped up beyond what I ever expected of her. She genuinely, like, interacts with the students and she teaches us really well and I've found myself loving U.S. history now <laughs> because of the way that she teaches. She inspires me because she always tells us that she loves what she does and that she didn't just get this job for any for just a random reason. She does, she does it because she loves to help students and I find that really amazing. Personally, with the class that I had her for, I was really struggling because it was during COVID, but she she offered like so many outlets for me for like help and I ended up like mastering my STAR exam because of her because I because she would provide those extra hours of help for me. There is no possibility of failing because of that comfortable atmosphere of succeeding. My biggest thing, especially after the pandemic, was for them to be able to speak for themselves and for them to know that they can do it and so that they can, you know, just be confident. We've had a lot of students that, you know, they were really isolated at home. They didn't interact with anybody. So I'm just happy that they're back, that we have them face to face and so that we can just emphasize that with them that, you know, you got it, you could believe in yourself and, you know, we're right here with you to guide you along the way. I definitely see myself in them, like I see, you know, my little brothers in them. For me, like, they inspire me because they're my why. Like, they're the reason I keep going. When I talk to my students, it's because I'm genuinely interested in who they are, because if I can just help them become the best version of themselves, it's, it's amazing. Ms. Camacho helps her students achieve their goals by getting to know them. And so she really looks at it from their perspective and she tries to see what their needs really are because she's the type that will reach out if she feels like there's something maybe that's being missed. Like it's maybe it's not so much just academic that they're struggling, maybe let's say in the classroom. She looks at the whole picture, the whole child, and she makes sure that if they need support from the counselors, she reaches out. If she feels like there's something that administration needs to know about, she reaches out. And so I think it's really about knowing her students and you know what they need and then she just supports she does a lot of constant parent communication whether it's missed out you know missed work we've got the pandemic right now so of course she's going above and beyond with that parent contact making sure that they're getting those assignments when they're out and so she just does anything that she can possibly do to make sure that they're successful she makes sure like if you're failing a class like a grade you she'll call your parents to make sure to see what's wrong see what's happening at home just to make sure that everything's okay for me, I got a bad grade one time. She asked my parents what was wrong because I'm not usually like that. I usually get like A's and everything. I think that's so like amazing that a teacher does that and puts the time and effort into it. What makes her stand out is that she like helps like the students and not only the students, but she like tries to communicate with like other teachers and she tries to help everyone she can. Like she reaches out to other people to see what they need and see what they need help with. And so I saw her and I was like, wow, I want to be like that. Be able to communicate with others, not only in English, but also like in another language. Every day I try to steal on my students that they can do whatever they want, they set their mind to. Uh, I always try to make them feel good in my classroom, uh, for them to feel welcome and for them to have a pride on their identity. I know me as a bilingual person and me that I had to learn English very later on my on my life and I still have the accent. I still had a hard time being proud of my identity and of being bilingual and now that's one of the most outstanding attributes I have. So I want my students to be proud, to be bilingual, to, to share their culture, to be proud of where they're coming from and of their families and of their community as well.